Good day, students. How are you today? Have you taken your lunch already? Make sure your stomach is full and you are currently in your most comfortable positions so that you will not get off track with today's lesson. Are you all excited? I am Mr. G.P. John Padernal Jose, a junior high school teacher from Montevista National High School, Montevista District. I hope you all have a very beautiful day at home while spending quality time with your family. Take advantage of this time to learn new things together, to embrace new hobbies, and of course, to strengthen your family ties while we are still contesting this pandemic. Make sure that you are all safe and always follow the minimum health standards given by the government to ensure that everyone is in safe hands. Are you now ready for today's lesson? Wow, that's awesome! But first, please be guided with these points to consider to ensure that you are with me while our class is ongoing. First, make sure that you have with you your mojo, notebook, and ball pen, and see to it that you follow closely to the flow of our discussion. Second, you can jot down notes while I am discussing the lesson, and your questions will be answered right after I am done with the lecture. Third, avoid doing unnecessary activities not related to our topic. Give your utmost focus and devote your time to our discussion. And finally, you can ask assistance to anyone at home if you have some concerns regarding the lesson. I am pretty sure that your family members are so much willing to help you unlock some difficulties. And they can also learn with you at the same time. Isn't that amazing? So now, get ready because we are going to start with today's lesson. I'd like to present to you first our objective for today. Number one, discuss history and development of fashion accessory. Number two, analyze the relevance of fashion accessory products. Number three, enumerate kinds of fashion accessory projects and products. Number four, discuss different kinds of fashion accessory projects or products. Before proceeding to the lesson, I have here a couple of jumbled words to tickle your thinking skills. You have five seconds for each item. Number one. Number two. Number three, number four, and number five. I'm pretty sure you all got it right. These jumbled words are all related to the topic that we are going to discuss this afternoon. History of Fashion Accessory Do you have any idea of the beginnings of fashion accessory? Well, according to the history of fashion design, it is generally considered to have started in the 19th century. The manner of clothing highly represents the economic status of an individual and expression of vocation or feeling 
of the weather. During the mid 19th century, new styles in clothing denoted middle class status. Dark suit in somber shades of black, gray, or brown for men connoted authority, responsibility, and respectability. The sailor suit became an essential uniform for middle class boys. Neoclassism influenced middle class women's styles in dress. A respectable middle class woman did not expose her body. They wore their hair in curls or knotted like women in classical statues. Middle class girls like princesses wore bows, ruffles, and pastels as a symbol of their distinctiveness. Fashion is one way of expressing oneself. It is a way of exploring yourself and standing in front of the crowd with confidence. In reality, the reason why we want to choose our own clothes and other stuff is to satisfy our own desire and fashion taste. We wanted to look attractive and presentable through the clothes and other accessories we wear based on personal comfortability, standard, and preferences. The more we fulfill our wants and desire in terms of fashion accessories, the more we feel happy and light. And the more we feel happy of what we have, the more we raise our level of confidence to socialize with others. In the Philippines, fashion styles of Filipinos largely depends on culture, nature of community, and even the weather a certain location mostly experiences from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. It preserves the identity, especially the native Filipinos, which is quite traditional and antique style of fashion as thought by our great ancestors many years ago. Despite of emerging technologies, other people, such as those who are living in the mountain, still uphold the values and culture they inherited from their predecessors. Still, fashion accessories continuously evolving and keep on innovating. Before, not all can wear fashion accessories, but at present, it was totally different since it became more accessible. Whether young or old, girls or boys are patronizing the use of fashion accessories. Either you came from upper class family or not, you can have the accessories you want and mix it with your own fashion style. Wide varieties of materials are available in the market. And if you are patient enough, you can eye materials cheaper in price but in good quality. Kinds of fashion accessory. While well, the look on popular accessories changes often, the general categories and types of items that people wear to add finishing touches to their attire 
have been fairly consistent throughout the history. Jewelry, fashionable items like necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and brooches have long been used to add stylish touches to all types of outfits. Footwear, while shoes and boots serve as a practical function, they can also be stylish fashion accessories for men, women, and children. Headwear, barrettes, and other types of hats are functional and fashionable items providing warmth while also making a fashion statement. Hand coverings. Gloves are an important fashion accessory with some styles providing warmth and hand protection while others add elegant style to formal attire. Finishing touches. Accessories like belts and buckles as well as neckties and neckwear add critical finishing touches to many outfits. Walking aids. Items like canes and walking sticks have long been used sometimes as an elegant accessory and other times out of medical necessity. For this lesson, we focus on the production of jewelry such as earrings, necklace, rings, brooch, and headband or bracelet, and some accessories like hair accessories and finishing touches like belts. Jewelry is the ultimate decorative accessory. Some sword has been worn since prehistoric men first strung beans, shells, or animal teeth and hung them around his neck. Nowadays, men, women, and children wear jewelry in many forms including bracelets, necklaces, earrings, brooch, and many more. Classification of jewelry Fine jewelry refers to all pieces of jewelry made from precious metals, such as gold and platinum, in combination with precious or semi-precious gems. This jewelry is generally expensive. Fashion costume jewelry refers to all pieces of jewelry made from metals, including precious silver, or from unusual materials, such as wood, glass, beads, and other items, and some semi-precious or imitation gems. This jewelry is inexpensive, but excellent design has often boosted the prices of fashion jewelry into the range of fine jewelry. Earrings These are ornament worn on the ears. They may have a backing of pierced ears or screws, clips, or wires. Earrings 
come in many shapes and sizes, including ball, button, hook, and drum. Necklace. Necklace is an article of jewelry which is worn around the neck. Necklaces are frequently formed from a metal jewelry, chain, and others. Others are woven or manufactured from cloth using strings or twine. Ring is a circular band worn on the finger. It can be a metal, plastic, or wood, jewel, or plain. Some ring has special significance, like friendship, engagement, wedding, school, or signet. Others are purely decorative. Bracelet Bracelet is an armband with various types. A bungle is a ring that slips into the wrist. It may have a hinge opening. There are link bracelets, chain bracelets, identification bracelets, and charm bracelets. Brooch Brooch is an ornament that is held by a pin or clasp and is worn at or near the neck. Headbands Headbands are clothing accessory worn on the hair or around the forehead. Usually, to hold hair away from the face or eyes. Headbands generally consist of a loop of elastic material or a horseshoe shaped piece of flexible plastic or metal. They come in assorted shapes and sizes and are used for both fashion and practical purposes. Belts Belts are flexible band or strap, typically made of leather or heavy cloth, or knots, and worn around the waist. A belt supports trousers or other articles of clothing. Now is your turn. Let me check if you were able to keep track of our lesson. I'm sure you can do it. This will be very easy. Name at least three different fashion accessories that you are actually using and give each of their description. I'll be giving you enough time to finish it. Are you done? Later, you can ask whoever you are with right now if your work is correct. I think everything is clear now. That would be all for today, my dear students. I hope you find our session productive and fun. Stay tuned for the continuation of our topic. And I can't wait to give you more in our next episode. This has been your teacher for today. I am Sir G.P. John Padernal Jose from Monte Vista National High School, Monte Vista District, saying, Dito sa TV Escuela, sa Pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!